Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. You're in the right place. You checking out? Chip Baker, the success card. Conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream. Dig deep, go out and get it. Success Chronicles. Compete until it's finished. Success Chronicles. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chip Baker coming to you with another episode of the Success Chronicles. And today we have my guy Taylor Ferritifar uh, with us. Uh, and we go, we go way back. Uh, that's my guy. That's my dude. <laughs> but uh, you know, as you can see, with the go get it shirt on, with the gotta have it, sleeve. gotta have it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but thankful. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to interview with the Success Chronicles. Yes, sir. Of course, of course. Good. We're looking forward to it. Oh yeah. Well, talk to us about your life story. You know, kind of. Uh, you know, where well, you, how you were raised and where you're from and track it up until now, if you don't mind. I, I got you. I got you. It hadn't been much. I only got 24 years on me. But, uh, you know, I, I was born in Houston. And then we moved to, to Conroe uh, after my parents split up when I was little. I was probably uh, eight years old-ish. Mm-hmm. Uh, they split up. Pretty, pretty bad divorce and stuff like that. Their relationship was, uh, you know, filled with drugs and alcohol addiction, things like that. Uh, for the for the beginning stages of my life, mm-hmm. uh, and then so once they split, we moved to Conroe with my mom, my sister, and I. Um, I, I think I got here in about fourth grade. Um, kind of bounced around um, when I got to Conroe at first. My mom was, you know, with a couple different dudes. Got married shortly, and uh, you know, until she kind of found her way. She was. Uh, she, we moved to Conroe, and she uh, got in the Narcotics Anonymous program. Uh, and she, you know, thankfully now she's been clean for, man, probably 10 plus years. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, they're probably going on maybe 12 ish, something like that. So, uh, that was a, that was a big changing point for us for sure. You know, we saw a dramatic change in, in just our quality of life when that stuff happened. Um, and then, uh, you know, kind of, we didn't, we didn't always have nice things growing up and, uh, we didn't live in the nicest place when we first got here, but um, it's amazing, you know, with, with what God did for her and, you yeah. know, did for our family, uh, you know, how it changed. And then, um, you know, sports came along and kind of took the path for me and kind of kind of changed a lot of my life as well. Um, you know, I'm thankful for, for guys like you and, and lots of <laughs> other coaches, uh, you know, as, as well as my, my father, uh, who, who he passed away when I was 19. Mm-hmm. Uh, in my, my second year of college, uh, so that was that was a big one too. Um, but you know, but thankful for for all of you guys who kind of kept me in the right direction as well as him, and uh, you know, thankful for sports as an outlet always. Um, and then now I'm uh, 24, like I said, and I uh, I went to Glenn for a little bit in College Station, where I got the chance to work with you for a little bit up there in Hearn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, kind of when I first got there, I wasn't locked into school like I should be. You know, I was I was doing the the partying thing and, you know, up to no good and uh, wasn't there for all the right reasons like I should be. Um, and then, uh, you know, I lost my dad and it kind of it's like a light switch got flipped, you yeah. know, and uh, it's like, what am I doing? What? I can't hide nothing I'm doing from him now, you know what I mean? So um, that was a, a big, big turning point for me when I lost him, you know, like every day was, was a grind for him so so I could make him proud. Um, so my grades started getting better, increasing. I, I, you know, I had more drive and motivation. I wasn't drinking or smoking or doing nothing like that. Uh, you know, then I got the opportunity to go over there with you guys and learn a bunch of stuff, uh, coaching kids. Um, then I moved back home to Conroe. 
Uh, now I'm a senior at, going into my senior year at Sam Houston State University. Awesome. Uh, finally, finally my senior year. You know, it's been a long time. I took the long road. I said <laughs> the, the extra long road. Um, but, yeah. you know, with the, the ultimate goal of, of getting my degree, um, of course, and, and, and coaching and, and teaching kids as well, that's the, that's the final goal. That's just a little bit of that's the that's the brief story. Okay, all right. Hey. Well, I, I think it's a good story. I think it's an amazing story of you know, a lot of times. You know, some of the things that you went through early as a kid, and you know, some things I know that you know we you know, but uh, you know, just the fact that you are here doing what you're doing, and you know, based on what you've gone through, that you're continuing to use that as you know your motivation and your drive. Yes, sir, think, absolutely. You know, a lot of times, you know, in our lives when we go through things, you know, we, we think, oh, it's tough, tough at the time. But really, uh, at the end of the day, when we look back, when we get through it and look back on it. What you makes know, me. Yeah, yeah. That's what, that was, that's what who you are, you know. Yes, sir. Makes you do what you do, how you do what you do. That's it. You know. That's it. I know that's right, man. And so now you can share <clears throat> that with others. Like you said, going into teaching and coaching, you can help other kids that's just like you or been through yes, your sir. like you know how it feels that's it that's you it know? and i think that's the that's one of the main reasons uh that i that i that i want to do what i'm going to do is yeah. you know there's there's lots of kids that that have seen worse than that than i had right and uh you know it was it was people like you and, and other coaches and and sports that that got me through it all and made me you know what I what I consider to be a good man today, yeah, and pushed me to do all that. So I want to be able to to do that for kids too, like like you know some guys did for me. So that's it, man. Just be a part of the ripple effect, huh? That's it. Just just a couple ripples, <laughs> a couple big ripples. Yeah, waves, waves, waves. waves. Yeah, yeah. the waves. Baby. That's <laughs> it. So, what are three things you've accomplished in your life that you're proud of? Oh man. Oh, I'd say first and foremost, um, getting to my senior year. I'm not, uh, I'm not quite finished yet with school, but um, I mean, it's been a long time. Lots of lots of classes I took that I wasn't attending, and this and that, and all the in betweens that that got me to this point. You know, I'm finally going into that last year, and I can see the finish line, um, and my mind is is in the right place to to finish up and to be done with that. So school, I think is probably the biggest one. Um, I would say another big one, <clears throat> it's more of a personal one is, you know, I've always been real big on, like, I, I want to make people proud. You know, the people that are in my life that mean a lot to me. Yeah. Uh, my, my, my mom, you know, she never fails to tell me, especially after my dad passed away, how, how proud she is of me and the, and the things that I've accomplished up until this point with my, with my job that I'm in now um, with school and, and pushing through and doing all that stuff. Um, as well as my dad, you know, everyone tells me, you know, before he, he was so proud of you, he was so proud of you, you know, not to say he wasn't proud of my other, my, my sister and my brother, but you know, he, I was his golden child, if you will, you know, and he was uh, so, so making, making my parents and my family um, proud and, and kind of being the, the light for my nieces and nephews that I, I have, uh, yeah. that, that's another big one. I think that that is a big thing on me is I want to show them how to do things the right way. Um, you know, my nephews, I want to show them how to be a good man and grow up to be, uh, you know, the richest man in this world for sure. Um, and one more thing that I've accomplished, um, man, I would say, uh, I don't know if this is an accomplishment. It was more of a, a privilege, man, an opportunity early to work with you guys over there in Hearn. <laughs> and that was that was a, a good gig, and things kind of just fell into place the right way at the, at the right time when when I needed it most. It was weird how it how it happened at that time. You know, right after I lost my dad, and you just happened to get there. And I mean, it just it it. I'm proud of myself for, for being able to, for, to do that with you and you giving me that opportunity and yeah. seeking me out and saying, Hey, what do you think about helping me? You know, that, that shows a lot to, 
you know, that, that you think you think highly enough to, to come get me, which is big in my mind, first of all. And, oh, yeah. Uh, and I'm proud of myself for, you know, I, I truly think I made an impact on on kids while we were there. Um, and, and we did a lot of good things for those kids. And I learned a lot. Um, and I know it was just a, it was the first stepping stone into what I'm going to do. But, um, you know, I'm really proud of of how how it went, you know, even for the short amount of time that we were there. That was big for me. You know, uh, one thing, and we've talked about this before, too. Uh, you know, I, I think the crazy thing or well, cool thing is a lot of times when you're doing things like that and teaching and coaching from a good place and with a good heart, you know, and, and like you said, you know, just shooting to make a difference. You know, it's amazing how it makes a difference in your life. Man, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> you know. More than, more than you know at the time, you know. Yeah. And you look back, you know, now I, we're, we're not doing that, or I'm not, I should say, at the time, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm going to go back to it, and it's like, man, that was that was a blessing. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was that was a blessing for sure. No doubt. And in and, and, and trying to be a blessing – you you were blessed. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's Amen. it, man. Yes, sir. So, what's your definition of success? Oh man, so you know, that's that's a subjective thing, as you know. You've done all these interviews. You know, I think it varies from person to person, of course. But I think in me and and where life has taken me, man, it it's really a culmination of myself and how I'm impacting others. You know, yeah. if, if if I if I wake up and, and I don't do something to one, make myself better or to make someone around me better, then that day wasn't a success to me. You know, so in my in my job, you know, right now I'm a manager at, at Papacitos, you know, I'm I'm coaching our servers and I'm I'm making them better, you know, something something small as that. But, you know, if if I go to work and I can make an impact on someone there and make them a couple more dollars or make them better at their job or or when I was coaching. You know, if I could, if I can make a kid better athletically or personally or uh, academically, you know, whatever I could do, I think, I think in in my world and where where I've gone, if if I'm impacting others in a positive way, then then I feel like I've been successful or I've I've had a successful day. Yeah. What do you What do you think it takes to achieve success? Man, you got to be persistent. Mm. You got to be persistent. You got to. You got to be willing to get down to the nitty gritty sometimes, um, and you've heard this one. You got to be comfortable un being uncomfortable. You know? <laughs> so um, you got to yeah. get out of your comfort zone. You got to do things that you know you might not have thought you were going to do, or you might not want to do. Um, but if the ultimate goal is to be successful and to make an impact on someone's life and to make an impact and to change on your life, um, I think you have to you have to have that drive and that will within you to push through the stuff that's hard and and the long nights that you got to study and the the long nights at work and um everything that you just got to go through the life's ups and downs the obstacles that it's going to throw at you you got to be able to push through all that i think that's a, a key in being successful major key major key <laughs> <laughs> The keys. <laughs> I got the keys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Well, that's yes, it, man. Sir. It's good stuff. Um, yes, you know, truly, truly making an impact. And I'm excited to see um, how things are going to go and how it'll play out for you because I know it's going to be great. Yes, sir. Um, I am too. I'm excited for it. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be great stuff. Yes, sir. Well, and again, man, thank you so much for taking the time to interview with the Success Chronicles. Man, you know, it's nothing but a thing for you. Anything for my guy. <laughs> I got you. I appreciate you letting me have the opportunity. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And other than this opportunity, I appreciate you for everything else that you've done. You know, oh, yeah. and in everyone's life. So much love. I, I appreciate that. You know, uh, same thing, like, you know, like we were saying, and like with your story, you know, there were some things that happened in my life, not the exact things like you, but similar you know, yes, we all go through those things. And so um, just being a part of the cycle, you know, when, when you know, at Conroe High, you know, when you're there, and it's the same thing, you know, just, yeah. you know, trying to help be a part of the ripple effect. And, you know, I, I have. And, yes, and the great thing is like, 
you have an R2. And so, I mean, just, you know, just it's a big wave. It's more than a ripple now. Yeah, hey, big, big wave, big time. Started, started a movement. <laughs> there it is. The That's major it. key movement. That's it, baby. Get a t shirt made. Put me put with this one. Yeah. Go get it. <laughs> I hear you, man. I hear you. Well, well, thank you guys for watching this episode of the Success Chronicles. We'll see you next time. God bless. Peace. Go get it.